The Leonid meteor shower began earlier this month, but is expected to peak later this week. It's called the Leonid shower because the meteors originate from the sickle of Leo. You know, the constellation up there in space. It's a pretty well known shower too. under ideal conditions during the peak. You might be able to see 10 to 15 meteors an hour. That's with the naked eye. But if you're really good and you have a good camera, say a contraption with, I don't know, seven cameras that also records and sorts out the streaks going across the sky for you. Well, you might see a lot more than that. And you might just be Jordan Ragsdale from Eagle. A garage is usually a space for stuff. What is that thing? But this garage in Eagle. This is the telescope I use to capture planets. Is more of a space. So it zooms in really, really far. For space stuff. You gotta be careful with that. It's a tight squeeze. Jordan Ragsdale is really into telescopes. So this is a C14 and that indicates a 14 inch diameter. Is that big? Oh, uh, it's pretty big for a telescope, yeah. And as he said, it's good for spotting planets. What's that one for? This one is what was good for planets 50 years ago. Is this a hobby, first of all? A hobby, yes. <laughs> How much money would you say you've spent on it? Uh, I've probably sold uh, 10 times more than I've bought <laughs> or that I've kept, I should say. So I, want, I, I like to say I've broken even. For Jordan, what he spent wasn't really a problem. It's what he's missed. Always when I go out to astronomy parties to stargaze, uh, everybody goes, oh my God, you see that meteor? And this is me. What? No, <laughs> I missed it. So a couple of years ago, he had an idea. Because I have FOMO and I, you know, I, I never want to miss something like that. I was like, I'm going to get a camera <laughs> that captures every single meteor 24 hours a day. I'm never going to miss another one. That little thing captures all that. Oh yeah, it captures everything. And this month, it's been especially active. This last meteor shower where, you know, we've got two or three different showers overlapping each other. This was a good one a couple nights ago to the south. The Leonids and also the Northern Taurids um, have been phenomenal this year. That's the same one from a different angle. In Nevada, Idaho, since they explode so high up in the atmosphere, usually 20, 30 miles, 300 miles away, lightning doesn't do that. <laughs> but meteors do by hitting the atmosphere and blasting into pieces. And that energy creates all the light. Every morning, Jordan scans what he captured over a cup of coffee. So like hundreds a night. But easily hundreds a nights. You know, when you get to the Persades in the summer, 500 a night. Okay, so a big cup of coffee. But I would say, you know, that this, this system here in our light pollution with all the trees that I have, I'll capture 30,000 a year. A big number from such a small device. It's my <laughs> meteorologist on the roof, so. <laughs> in a field, where size seems to matter. And then here's the big one. Jordan says there are about 200 of these cameras that he has on his house around the world, including one in Glens Ferry. It's sort of crowdsourcing for science kind of thing. These amateur cameras capture things actual astronomers might miss, you know, when their telescopes are pointed at other things. Jordan also takes pictures with his big telescopes, and he po often posts them on our Weather Watchers Facebook page. So check them out.